leading marine research institutions in Indonesia. Since it was first established as Fisheries Department in 1968 and officially became a faculty in 1994. The Faculty of Fisheries and Marine Science is located in the central Java province. The main campus, where main activities take place, is located in the capital city of Samarang. The second campus, also known as the Marine Science Technopark and Coastal Development Laboratory, is located in Jepara Regency. The vision of the Faculty of Fisheries and Marine Science is to become an excellent faculty in the field of fishery science and tropical marine in the year 2020. In pursuing its vision, the Faculty of Fisheries and Marine Science missions are to provide a high-quality education in the field of fisheries and marine science, engage in scientific research and publications, produce intellectual property rights, provide community services in fisheries and marine science field, implement a professional and accountable system, and empower students' activities to achieve the complete graduate qualifications. There are six departments in the Faculty of Fisheries and Marine Science. The first one is Aquatic Resource Management, Capture Fisheries, Aquaculture, Marine Science, Oceanography, Fisheries Product Technology. The faculty provides numerous facilities to support all study and research activities from student discussion spaces, library, and integrated laboratories. We provide aquaculture lab, biotechnology lab, chemistry lab, hatchery, and geographic information system lab. The excellence of Faculty of Fisheries and Marine Science is proud to contribute in fisheries and marine field through artificial patch reef in Panjang Island, Jepara. Provides information to the public of Samarang as a reference data for sea level rise on the coast with ROP calendar. In our faculty, we collaborate academic and experimental learning to give the best experience of learning. The faculty have 16 student activity unit divided into several fields like art, sport, religious club, research, student executive board, and student senate where students are allowed to become more involved on campus, increase leadership, social responsibility, and their personal development. One of the organization, Kasemat, received an achievement as the best ASEAN student organizations in 2016. Faculty of Fisheries and Marine Science conducts activities in international scale, such as International Tropical Summer Course and International Conference on Tropical and Coastal Region Eco Development. International Tropical Summer Course is an event for international students from partner universities to learn about coastal ecological preservation and coastal biota in Semarang and Karimun Jawa Island. International Conference on Tropical and Coastal Region Eco Development is an annual international seminar event that aims to promote and disseminate research results. The Faculty of Fisheries and Marine Science aspire to take a role in strengthening the marine and fisheries field in Indonesia through the application of knowledge from our graduates to achieve and bring positive impact to the society. Banyak ilmu dan pengalaman selama saya berkuliah di sini dan ilmu yang saya dapat sangat cocok dengan bidang yang saya jalani sekarang. Melalui pekerjaan seperti ini Saya mendapatkan kesempatan untuk berkunjung ke tempat yang bahkan tidak pernah saya bayangkan sebelumnya. Perikanan saat ini menjadi sektor yang dibutuhkan di dunia ini. Banyak negara pengekspor ikan, bukan hanya Indonesia. 
kebutuhan untuk makan ikan di seluruh dunia pun selalu tinggi, terutama di negara maju. Saat ini saya bekerja di PT Freeport Indonesia, salah satu tambang terbesar yang ada di Indonesia. Posisi saya saat ini adalah sebagai senior manager di Departemen Lingkungan. Saya bertanggung jawab terhadap semua aspek lingkungan yang ada di job site untuk memastikan PT Freeport Indonesia mematuhi semua peraturan undangan yang berlaku di bidang lingkungan. Ilmu yang saya pelajari banyak saya gunakan karena salah satu aspek yang dilakukan oleh PT Freeport Indonesia adalah melakukan kegiatan pengelolaan dan pemantauan di ekosistem pesisir. Faculty of Fisheries and Marine Science offering some programs including international and national programs and we challenge you to explore our fisheries and marine science resources. So, we proudly to welcome you to our Faculty of Fisheries and Marine Science. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Aquaculture Department, Fisheries and Marine Science Faculty, Universitas Diponegoro, I, Diki Harwanto, would like to extend a very warm welcome to all of you in this event, Aquaculture Department International Seminar, as a part of World Class University Program. Allow me to address my sincere respect to the Honorable Dean of Fisheries and Marine Science Faculty, Universitas Diponegoro, Professor Triwinarni Agustini, and Vice Deans, the Honorable Head and Secretaries of the Study Programs under the Fisheries and Marine Science Faculty, Universitas Diponegoro, the Honorable Professors and Lecturers of Fisheries and Marine Science, Universitas Diponegoro, the Distinguished Speaker, Professor Jesuk Che. Sila University, Republic of Korea. Also, all respected participants from various institutions. There are about 150 registrants at this event, consisting of students, professors, lecturers, government employees, private employees, and others, from western part to eastern part of Indonesia. We appreciate you taking time off your busy schedules to join us. It is our privilege to have you with us today. We hope you will find the program we have lined up for you to be fruitful and engaging. First of all, let me introduce you to the agenda. We start this event at about 8 a.m., which will then be followed by opening remark by the Dean of Fisheries and Modern Science Faculty. At about 8.30, we will have our guest speaker presenting his work on health, food, and food processing technology. At about 9.30, we will have a discussion. The audience can participate in the discussion by asking questions or sharing their own point of view via raise hand menu or text in chat box. We will end the seminar at about 10.40. I am sure it is going to be a great, a great time of interaction and learning for all of us. I will now invite Professor Trivinardi Agustini, the Dean of Fisheries and Marine Science Faculty, Universitas Diponegoro, to give opening remark. Mm -hmm. Professor Trivinardi, please, floor is yours. Okay, <clears throat> thank you very much, and good morning for everyone. <clears throat> Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, very good morning and uh, first of all I would like to uh, give a thank you very much to our distinguished speaker Professor Dr. Jai Suk Choi from Department on Food by Technology Sila University Republic of Korea uh, thank you very much Prof. Choi and uh, also I would like to thank to uh, head of Aquaculture Department, Dr. Sajito, 
then also to the uh, moderator with, uh, who will um, <clears throat> guide this uh, webinar this morning, uh, Dr. Tesrina. And of course, I would like to uh, thank also to uh, Dr. Vicky Harwanta, who is uh, the contact person. And also he has uh, give us uh, <coughs> collaboration with the uh, Silla University Republic of Korea. And this morning, we would like to uh, deliver the second webinar from the Department of Aquaculture with the topic uh, related to, <coughs> of course, ending after the aquaculture activity was uh, done and uh, of course, this uh, processing uh, matter that will be delivered by Prof. Choi will be beneficial for all of us, uh, <clears throat> as uh, announced by uh, Dr. Tiki, that uh, around 150 participants joining this webinar. And of course, uh, many students and also staff from our faculty also joining on also from other faculties and also uh, from the bureaucracy, for example, from the fisheries and marine affairs, uh, from the province, uh, central Java province, uh, also joining uh, the webinar. So it is very, very, uh, uh, Dr. Choi will deliver and share uh, knowledge to all of us. Then uh, from this even we do hope that uh, another collaboration also will be uh, with uh, among the, our university, especially from the Faculty of Fisheries and Marine Science and uh, Department of Food Biotechnology. So in the future, we do hope that from uh, under the program of uh, World Class University, so we can uh, invite you for other uh, program that include uh, in this uh, we see, uh, W uh, uh, World Class University uh, program in our university, of course. And uh, this morning, uh, we do hope that uh, all the participants will join in. Uh, and give a fruitful discussion with uh, Professor Choi for uh, beneficial to all of us, improving our uh, res um, human resource and also improving our knowledge. Thank you very much and have a good discussion and uh, keep healthy to all of us. Thank you very much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Professor Trivinari, for the opening remarks. So before we go to the main event, let's take pictures together. Please, all audiences, turn your camera on. And Mas Hendry, you may uh, count this if, if you are ready to take picture. Yeah, okay. Uh, let me to take the picture on the first pitch. And one, two, three, cheers. Yeah, okay. Um, on the second pages, okay. One, two, three, okay. Yeah, okay, thank you. Okay, okay, thank you, um, Mas Hendrik. So, ladies and gentlemen, now is our main event. We are fortunate to have a very prominent professor speaking today, Professor J. Suk J., who will present his work entitled Latest Technology Trends in Fish Processing Application of Processed Fishery Product. The seminar will be moderated by Dr. Desrina. So, Dr. Rina, the floor is yours. Right. 
Thank you, Dr. Haranto. Uh, good morning, everybody. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, the Honorable Dean and Vice Deans of Faculty of History and Marine Science University of Ponegoro, the Honorable Head of Departments of uh, Under Faculty of History and Marine Science University of Ponegoro, distinguished uh, keynote speaker, Professor Jai Sukche and distinguished attendees. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, everybody. Selamat pagi, Bapak, Ibu semua. Selamat pagi juga kepada para mahasiswa yang menghadiri uh, seminar ini. First of all, I would like to thank all the participants and our speaker of this webinar. Professor Jay Suche for your participation in this event. Uh, Professor Jay Suche uh, joining us from Busan, from Korea. Uh, Professor, can you hear me clearly? Yes, correct. Mm. Okay, good. Korea is not now. Mm. Um, let me introduce you first. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you for introducing me, respected team and Professor. Uh, Selamat siang. Uh, I'm very glad to meet you. And, uh, and my name is Jae Sok Choi. Uh, I'm okay. a professor in Shula okay. University. And the professor, I'm yes. sorry. Hmm? Can I uh, can I read your CV first? A CV? Oh, yeah. really? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Let me read your CV first, and then I will invite you to give your talk. Oh my God, <laughs> I don't know. Is though. it okay? Hmm? Is it okay with you? Mm. Yes, it's uh, practically speaking, okay. I'm not prepared for my CV, uh, but uh, okay, I'm shortly, I'm graduated. Uh, I, will, I, will, uh, I will introduce you and I will read your CV. Uh, okay, sure, please. Okay, thank you. All right. Uh, Actually, this morning we have a very interesting topic because uh, our expert today is uh, has an expert in uh, health, functional food, and food processing technology, and um, he is currently a professor at Department of Food Biotechnology, College of Medical and Life Sciences, Silla University. Uh, in Busan, Republic of Korea. He's also assistant director of Fisheries Research and Development Center, Silla University in Korea. Uh, he, Professor Jesuk Choi published quite um, many papers. In total, he published 150 articles, which is quite impressive number. And he has a very high edge index, 17. He graduated uh, for his PhD degree from Pukyong, Pukyong Univer National University, Busan, Korea in uh, biotechnology. And he got his master degree from Kangnung National University as well as uh, his bachelor degree from Kangnung National University at Kangnung, Korea. And I think that the uh, professors uh, Jay Suchai already uh, ready with the material. I apologize if I don't pronounce your name correctly, Professor, because this is, uh, I'm not very familiar how to pronounce uh, the name in Korea. So I apologize uh, beforehand if I pronounce your name uh, in the wrong way. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Everybody, I think everybody is uh, eager to follow your talk, and I will give the floor to Professor uh, Jesu to yes. uh, deliver his lecture. Mm -hmm. Professor, the floor is yours. Thank you. Mm. Yes, uh, I will start my PPT. Uh, can you see my PPT? Yes, 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 sir. Okay. yes we can see clearly. Mm -hmm. Yes, we can see it clearly. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, Selamat 
Shia, um, I'm very glad to meet you uh, via the online web seminar. Uh, my name is Jacob Choi. So, uh, I'm a professor uh, in the Shila University and assistant director of the Fisheries and Seafood Research Center in Busan City. Uh, Busan is the second largest city in South Korea and have many seafood processing companies near harbor. Uh, through several researches with these companies, I have learned that uh, the food industry is closely related to uh, processing machinery industry. So I would like to introduce the latest technology of fisheries uh, processing. Uh, mainly, I intend to overview the latest technology trend in fish processing. Uh, the contents of my presentation are as follows. Uh, first, uh, domestic seafood consumption statue in Korea. Second, the food industry uh, consumption, uh, food industry is closely related to uh, equipment industry. Uh, and then, the microbial control technique and frozen heating, doing related technology. And finally, I'll present the smart factory. Uh, in an aspect of seafood consumption structure in Korea, uh, many seafood processing companies are complained of the managing, uh, management difficulty, which are closely related to the decline in the consumption of seafood. Uh, as you can see, the red line, the seafood consumption is the, will uh, decrease now in Korea. Uh, why the consumption of seafood reduces? The, as you know, the main cause of the seafood aversion is the fishery smell and the internal bone and the smoking generation and more, uh, clean more cookware and the uh, more byproduct product is also the, um, induces the problem. So because of the, uh, these problems, uh, and the increased the rejection trend has been seen against the fish cooking and groom meal as well as the in general form. In addition, the social structure of Korea is changing towards the single person household uh, because of the working woman and the aging population. Actually, Korea aging uh, faster than the any other countries, as you can see the, in this graph. Uh, they, therefore, uh, they don't want to cook at home, and the market size of HMR is steadily increased, like this. So, as seafood products are uh, considered as a health food, having the omega-3 fatty acid, uh, taurine, and no cholesterol, the demand for HMR using seafood is the increasing now in Korea. In my opinion, the advanced marine processing technology is essential to product high-value added fisheries product. Uh, most important hygiene and uh, food safety related uh, microorganism technology and packing technology. And the in aspect of uh, preservation of uh, flavor and nutrition is related to freezing, doing, and cooking related technology. Uh, shelf life extension of HMR such as uh, are uh, ready to cook and uh, ready to eat related uh, microorganism and uh, the micro, uh, microbial and physical property control technology and technical technology. And develop of the advanced fish processing line um, are needed in Korea. Uh, why needed? Uh, uh, due to rising uh, minimum wage and the factories factories are trying to use the less uh, manpower. And they are also emphasizing more on machinery and equipment. Uh, many factories are became on on bandit and automation. At first, uh, microbial uh, control technology. Uh, look at the raised technology. It's, uh, yes, and the uh, the basic principle of HPP is to destroy microorganisms and virus at high pressure uh, up to 
900 메가 파스칼. 어, advantage of HPP include extending uh, shelf life within no heat treatment. Uh, recently, uh, studies have been actually carried out to apply uh, HPP to aquatic product. Uh, for example, all of the microbi microbial uh, organism in stream paste was distributed at uh, 300, uh, 300 to 400 megapascal. Uh, in Korea, the HPP technique it has been mainly applied to fresh juice. Uh, I have got uh, the one thing, this is the uh, selling in Korea. And the fruit juice like this, and the cold brew coffee, and the other various uh, HML product is already uh, applied. Uh, let's watch a uh, related video. Uh, Yes, first put the product into vessel and then vessel move to the frame and fill with water and the vessel uh, pressurize the food product to uh, 600 megapascal and then uh, drain water. You can see. Fill water. Yes, pressure. And drain. Uh, yes, the HPP manufacturer told us HPP can provide several solutions for uh, seafood process, uh, processing like this. And, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yes. Uh, there is an interesting example of uh, applying HPP to aquatic product. Uh, yes, this is lobster. Uh, what if uh, HPP is uh, applied to lobster? Uh, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, due to um, the connection, I guess. Okay, please, please wait just uh, one minute. I'm sorry, please wait. Sorry.
as you can see, the yield increase the without loss. As you can see, the yield is increased without loss in the lobster. Similarly, applying HP filter oyster, uh, separated them, trade and flesh also possible. Uh, advantage of HPP is included the most important textual properties such as the hardness and the and coincidence increases. And then most important one is the it can be destroyed microorganism without the heating treatment. Uh, so the, you can see the many advantages like this. Uh, however, uh, there are some disadvantages of the HPP as well. The HPP system with high capital cost. Uh, in my uh, uh, the, according to the, the manufacturer's report, the smallest one is about the $100 million. And the limitation of the uh, policy of level four uh, selected product is shown, and the high maintenance and the operational cost also needed. Uh, sometimes I needed to use the HPP. I asked to the company to keep the HPP uh, for my experiment. Uh, in Korea, the first example of applying to aquatic product in Korea is to inactivate the norovirus in the oyster in glass case. Uh, but uh, virus has been destroyed well, uh, so the cost is higher and then cannot uh, provide the uh, uh, commercial product. Uh, next technique of the microbial control technology is the uh, first right technology. Uh, short time high peak, the first of a broad spectrum, including uh, white light and UV and visible light and the IR red. And are uh, used to inactivate microorganism to the surface of uh, food packing materials. And potential on the surface of the product uh, packaged in the UV transparent material. Uh, the lethality of the uh, first light treatment is related to uh, UV ray, uh, which uh, can kill microorganism on the surface of the food. Okay, let's watch the uh, related video. Uh, left control and the right is the uh, first right treated one. You can enjoy. <laughs> Uh, as you can see, the after treating first right, uh, although many operations detected in the in control, but however, almost nothing. <laughs> This slice input a small scale of a first lighter generator to research purpose. Yes, so like this, so as you can see, the cell wall of a microorganism uh, treated to the first right is punctured. Uh, thus, uh, these microorganisms will be die. So the more normal control is more uh, uh, intact. The cell wall shown. The for uh, the next technology is the ionic radiation, more gamma ray, the electron beam, X-ray, more several. Uh, uh, lay uh, other ionic radiation is possible. Uh, 
the above mentioned the UV can only sterilize in the surface, but uh, gamma ray uh, can penetrate the food and packing material as a sterilized and uh, all body. Uh, do you think uh, Hulk? Do you know Hulk? In the uh, UV, uh, the USA, the comic, the image. Uh, a green the muscle monster is the Hollywood movie. It's Hulk. Uh, why do you the uh, um, person became a Hulk? Um, yes, so, due to gamma ray. So please um, watch the next video. Products are carefully loaded onto a material handling system. They are usually put inside aluminum carriers or totes. Each load is designed to ensure the specified dose is delivered. Then, process monitoring devices called dosimeters are placed at previously determined points on the product to measure the delivered irradiation dose. Next, our specially trained and certified operators enter and verify the product specific cycle parameters in the control system, and the cycle begins. The carriers travel by conveyor through a concrete maze that separates the non-processed area from the irradiation chamber. Inside the irradiation chamber, the cobalt-60 isotope, often called the source, is contained in encapsulated pencils that are carefully arranged in a specially designed rack. Uh, gamma ray comes from the cobalt-60 uh, isotope. So normally, the cobalt-60 is emerged in the water. Uh, but uh, when the product is treated with gamma ray, it takes out of the water and then exposed to gamma rays. When not in use, the source yes, rack in is the water, submerged in a storage pool of deionized water. This shielding allows the production and maintenance teams to safely enter the chamber as needed. With the gamma source rack in the raised position, the carriers enter the irradiation chamber. Yes, Each carrier passes by both sides of the source rack, ensuring even exposure. Length of exposure varies by product and predetermined dose range. Uh, uh, yes, the gamma ray widely used to sterilize food for newborn and patient and uh, astronaut, as they needed to completely uh, sterilize the product. Uh, I performed several studies using uh, gamma ray irradiation equipment at advanced radiation technology in Korea. Okay, next. Uh, next is the uh, freezing related technology. Uh, what if we put water in the glass bottle and freeze? Uh, of course, it will break. Uh, why would the glass bottle will break? And uh, as you know, when the water freezes, the volume uh, of the ice expands and the glass bottle will break. A uh, similar phenomenon is observed in the cell. Uh, so when cells uh, melt drip occur, of course the texture of the product will fail. Uh, however, uh, when a product subjects the strong electromagnetic field during freezing, the water molecular weight uh, water molecules uh, of the product freeze in the online like this. Uh, thus, the uh, expansion of the ice volume is minimized and then cell membrane will not break like this. Uh, when the product melts, uh, no drip, uh, the drip, uh, sorry, uh, drip uh, minimized and then texture of the product does not destroy the but ordinary one uh, treated uh, this shift, uh, the ice crystal increase and the disrupt the cell, and then after doing, uh, the drip will uh, spill out. So you can see the uh, polarizing uh, microscopic photo. Uh, you can see the uh, size of the ice crystal uh, become the smaller. So this is the electromagnetic field treated uh, materials the rapid freezing, more bigger. Uh, the slow freezing is the most big, the largest one. Ice crystal, it can watch. Yeah, due to electromagnetic, 
この水の分子が不規則な武器に凍るため細胞の壁を壊し解凍した際うまみを外に逃がしてしまうそこで冷凍する際磁力などを使って分子の向きを整えれば細胞は壊れないのではないか二宮はこの理論で実際にちょっとインバイトメニュクラーを持っていしマグロの冷凍に挑んだすると海洋すると出てきたドリッグがごくわずかの量にすとベリスモールアマウントオブトリッグ In the treated of the、oh, magnetic treated freezing. So, you can have a little bit of 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 a l i t t e b i t Uh, this, uh, uh, this is an example of the uh, comparative experiment using sliced raw fish, uh, maguro, uh, tuna. Uh, uh, respondents were asked to uh, compare the fresh tuna in raw and the fridge and throw the electromagnetic f r e e z e r Left is the uh, raw tuna and the right is the uh, protein, uh, protein and the belt one. Uh, when asking which uh, do you think uh, is the frozen tuna? Uh, okay, you can see it. Sabai da Chokogo no Maguro, Inomia no Reto de Koro Seta to Kaito. Reto stay nine, Nama Maguro to Tabekura de Morai. Dochira ga Reto sta Maguro ka Atete Mora. 協力してもらったのは地元の短大の学食にいた皆さん一般的に冷凍すると食感やうまみが落ちると言われていますがさあどっち食べた時の食感がなんかそっちの方が冷凍かなって。Yes, uh, surprisingly, people could not distinguish the between the raw p e a tuna and the frozen tuna. Why? どうして冷凍を見破ることができなかったのか専門家に協力してもらい科学的に分析してもらった歯ごたえを左右するお刺身の弾力を数値で比較してみる家庭用冷凍機のマグロはべちゃっとして弾力あ Yes, when measuring the resonance of the raw and frozen tuna uh, in this laboratory, the uh, tuna frozen in general uh, freezer uh, lost uh, resonance while the, yes, lost, but uh, the frozen tuna during the electromagnetic freezer uh, kept the resonance similar uh, to the raw tuna. So, uh, uh, more Common people、uh, cannot distinguish the between the raw tuna and the frozen tuna.、Uh, next technology is the pressure shifting freezing. The, as the freezing point of water on the pressure depress,、uh, higher freezing rate is observed. When adapting this technology,、uh, frozen food show the uniform、uh, ice crystal distribution and the smaller size of ice crystal.、Uh, less destructive. A preservation process with the high, higher、uh, retention of the initial quality are also observed.、Uh, you can see the,、uh, this photo.、Uh, the, this is the turbo pilot、uh, frozen by air blast as a control and the minus 20 degree、uh, 
the pressure release to uh, I'm sorry, the this uh, air blast uh, minus 20. Uh, this is uh, by pressure release from uh, 140 megapascal at minus 14 uh, Celsius degree. Uh, similar, uh, smaller ice crystal size was observed in the uh, pressure shift bridging group. And the next one is the uh, ultrasonic bridging. Uh, if ultra, uh, ultrasound are applied to fresh food stuff, and it can uh, shorten the bridging process and lead to better quality product. Uh, if it is applied to bridge concentration and bridge uh, drying process, it can be used to control crystal ice size distribution in the frozen product. Uh, as you can see this photo, uh, figures the ice crystal uh, of the gel treated the ultrasound is smaller than that of the control. Uh, next is the cooling, tech, cooling related technology. Uh, vacuum cooling is the main used for vegetable, fruit, and flowers. Uh, advantage the vacuum cooling include the uniform and the past cooling. Uh, and the shelf life increase of the product. Uh, this advantage is uh, moisture loss, more small amount, but uh, anyway, it happened. So actually, after steam cooking at uh, 65 tuna, uh, tuna, and uh, the, uh, the tuna uh, was cooled in the between the uh, 30, uh, 35 and the 40 degree, the vacuum cooling, the which typically uh, resulted in a three or four weight loss is happened. Okay, this figure presents the typical cooling. Uh, cooling curve for the large meat product uh, different by the different method. The common is the common method is they want to more um, above 10 hours needed to cooling. Um, but uh, the vacuum cooling is only needed to two hours. Okay, the, this video is uh, how vacuum cooling is actually adapted to uh, vegetable and fruits. Vacuum cooling has long been recognized as the most efficient method available for cooling most fresh produce items. And with over 60 vacuum cooling units all over Australia, QuickCool is the nation's leading vacuum cooler brand. The QuickCool product is designed, built and serviced in Australia and can be tailored to fit your specific cooling needs. We've been servicing Australia's leading vegetable growers for over 20 years, so our vacuum coolers offer some unique, innovative design features which maintain high performance, reliability and long-term life. Uh, next technique is uh, the heat related, heating related technology. At first, I would like to introduce superheated steam roasting technology in uh, heating related technology. Uh, ordinary, the uh, water boiled at 100 Celsius degree and change to the uh, vapor vapor. Uh, this water vapor uh, the usually use the steam food. However, uh, yes, the ordinary the 100, but uh, when the, the water vapor are reheated to uh, 350 uh, and, the, and more, uh, or more, the produced gas is called the superheated steam. This superheated steam can roast food, roast food, not steam food. Uh, perhaps this video will make it easier to understand uh, superheated steam. Yes, the uh, 100. Yes, the uh, using the another heater, the. Yes. Uh, the likewise, the 
uh, Superintense team comes into the contact the food surface. Uh, it contains it into the water drop. Uh, so uh, the baked food is became the softener. But high temperature. Yes, like this roasted. Uh, people who likes the soft food and the elderly would be loved uh, this technology. So next is the omikiting. So omikiting called the uh, juriting, more electric resistance heating, and the electrical conductive heating is more all the same words. Uh, the produce comprise of the stimulus heating of the food liquid and a solid by passing through the electric current through them directly. Uh, the simplest example uh, in the OMI kitting, uh, you can see the uh, the paper. Uh, advantage is the uh, cost is very low. The disadvantage is uh, dangerous. <laughs> uh, so, okay, the, okay. Uh, next is the microwave the processing heating. The basic principle of microwave heating uh, is not different uh, from that of the home microwave oven. Uh, microwave heating is also used uh, hybrid, uh, hybrid application with the other drying method uh, such as uh, air, IR, and vacuum drying. And heating. The several studies are uh, on the way to apply microwave heating to aquatic product. Uh, for example, uh, microwave cooking, uh, the tuna uh, retained the omega-3 fatty acid uh, compared to the frying or canned. Well, this is a very good advantage. Uh, in addition, the microwave bleaching can carry out for the more color retention and the enzyme inactivity. So it's the, uh, these are uh, very good advantages to this technology. Uh, this video is about the actual application of the micro heating oven. Uh, okay, please find and uh, what is the different uh, other heating method? Uh, let's think about it.
yes. What is the uh, what is the different from the other heating method? Uh, yes. Uh, microwave heating is also possible for the packaged product. So whereas, uh, whereas the product proceed using other heating method uh, must be uh, packed after heating for uh, microwave organism technique, the uh, possible for packaged um, product. Uh, the, um, is the previously we uh, kill microorganism, the how to uh, heating, the how to more anyway, the, the, uh, this technology, the how to doing, doing also very important. The high frequency uh, defroster has been developed as the doing technology. Uh, generally, uh, the seafood products are melt by the put them at room temperature or in water. Uh, the core portion uh, does not melt at the same rate. So the surface uh, melt first and the microorganism multiply. Otherwise, the uh, high frequency dispersed melt both inside and outside at the same time. Uh, so, uh, natural doing a uh, 24 hours needed, but in order, more 6 hours, the uh, mist doing, more 6 hours needed. Uh, in this case, in this case, the listeria and the Escherichia coli detect. But, in, but, uh, otherwise, the, uh, if we use the H, uh, HFD, uh, it takes only the 40 minutes. So, uh, uh, microorganism cannot detect. The very important technique in this uh, nowadays, the uh, big companies use the, this system. Okay, this is a tabletop radio frequency defrost for commercial restaurant and the, uh, and the uh, experimental laboratory. Within minutes, the both outside and cold, although at the same time, so uh, no ice. More chicken, more bacon, and the like this, the fish also adapt on uh, this technology. Uh, frankly speaking, what well, this operate, uh, this machine is, uh, I, I have the two. Uh, this the uh, high uh, frequency depressor. One thing is the la uh, larger, and the one thing is the other is the smaller one. Also. Okay, next. Uh, as you know, uh, recently advanced processing line have been developed and applied to fish processing. Uh, in, ad uh, in addition, uh, coercive production control and the other uh, management soft package have been developed for uh, all operations from the entering or the, uh, through the, uh, the production process to sales and ship the product. Uh, if only the artificial intelligence is adopted here, the smart factory will be complete. Uh, frankly speaking, I'm not a futurist, but I am worried about the uh, artificial intelligence and the robots will replace people in all the industrial area. No, anyway, the, yes. yes. Mm. Uh, look at the, an example of the advanced fish processing line. The, uh, Balka uh, is a company from Iceland. Uh, this system is very interesting. Uh, please watch. 
Whitefish processors are constantly looking for ways to make their production process more efficient and to meet growing customer demands. The Valka Advanced Processing Line ensures more profitable fillet production with exceptional quality, less labor, and increased product value. The Valka pre-trim line is specifically designed for gentle handling of the raw material. We use push-off instead of pneumatic arms, and extra-wide trimming stations guarantee that the first fillet in is the first out. If there are no defects or parasites, the fillet goes directly to the Valka cutter machine. Ah, uh, yes, the uh, what to reach to you. Uh, uh, what tool uh, do you usually use the cutting objective? More knife, more cutter, and the razor. And however, this is then use the water jet. Uh, let's see. The Valka cutter combines cutting edge technology in regards to both the software and hardware combination. It scans the fillet with a high-speed X-ray camera to accurately locate the bones. A second measurement is performed. With yes, the technology also the very interesting. Uh, the measurement is performed with a 3D vision camera for accurate weighting the fish. Uh, one time scan uh, automatically calculate uh, the weight of the each part. The 3D vision camera for accurate weight of the fish. This guarantees more precise portions and ensures optimal utilization of the entire fillet. The cutting is performed by water jets that provide extremely flexible and exact cutting for the smallest to largest fillets, skin or skin on. Because of the flexibility of the water jets, the possibilities of cutting patterns are limitless. And the system makes sure you get the right portions and the best value for each fillet. As all portions from the Valka cutter are categorized by weight and size, oh, oh, I'm sorry. they can be routed to the appropriate channels. The products flow in a continuous stream and maintain their correct alignment to the next stage. Yes, next step is the sorting the by weight and size. Grades, batches, and automatically aligns the products in the final packaging. Each piece is accurately weighed, measured, and carefully transported into the machine. The unique carousel system and advanced grader software enable identification of up to 16 pieces on its way to the packaging. Therefore, the system can make optimal selection of pieces for each box and virtually eliminates any giveaway. The fish is neatly aligned to the box according to the order packaging specifications and priority. The system tracks every box in the flow line and can complete the production process without any further human handling of the material. The box is check weighted before the fish gets a plastic overlay. Then a label is assigned according to the order, and the correct amount of ice is allocated. Finally, the box is closed with a lid before being transferred to a pallet for storing and dispatching. Can you afford to miss the potential? Uh, yes, the. Uh... The system makes the optimum selection of uh, piece for the each box. Uh, finally, the weight of all boxes is almost the same. The uh, accuracy is correctly. Uh, next one is the uh, crop uh, automation line.
interesting this video uh, just uh, uh, I uh, I'm working the 12 researchers in this lab uh, yes the last year I participated the uh, International Symposium, only the nine students and the researchers uh, come join to this uh, annual meeting and seminar. This is me. And uh, uh, okay, so my presentation, uh, this is finished. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Jesuk. Yeah. And it was a very uh, interesting uh, presentation, very interesting lecture. It makes me hungry. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> and um, we have one question here from the floor. Yeah. It is, I will, I, will read, I will read the question for you and you can respond after that. It's from Dr. Uh, Subandiono. This is my colleague from the Department of Aquaculture, Undip. Mm -hmm. Um, the people in Korea like very much eat fish yes, since right. decades ago with no hesitate feeling. Meanwhile, the price of the fish based food is not cheap in Korea. So his question is, uh, he has two questions actually. So his question are, are there any minimum standard qualities that must be applied for the fresh fish producer and what are they? The second question, how are the Korean people so aware and trust to the beneficial of consume the fish. Are there any interface intervention or regulation from the government so far? Uh, uh, frankly speaking, um, anyway, the uh, Korean uh, nowadays the fish is not cheap in Korea. Uh, so yeah. the aquaculture uh, all, uh, in Korea also very uh, developed than aquaculture, uh, but uh, the so fish price is not cheap and the, the price will increase. Uh, so, and commonly, the Korean people uh, want to the raw fish itself. Uh, uh, they want to cook using the pilot or the like this, the packaged one. Uh, this product is I uh, uh, made the okay, research and the made uh, this type of the uh, roasted pellet only uh, using the microwave and then without any uh, cooking and the uh, any treatment and then uh, directly can take. So mm. uh, nowadays uh, this product is very uh, useful and the government, uh, but big companies no problem, but they have the large amount of fund for uh, research and develop the, like this food, but a uh, small size company is the uh, uh, interface the uh, funding pro problem and the, the research work is uh, so in Korea uh, invest to uh, uh, they prepared the uh, they prepared the uh, academic industrial cooperation program and provided the small size company and the connect uh, like the university more like me and then uh, they uh, make uh, one meeting, uh, several meeting, and then uh, they uh, make uh, the policy, and uh, they make, uh, the, I'm sorry, the, uh, they make uh, the proposal to government. And then uh, after competition, and the, if the receive the government fund, uh, we can the, develop the new product. Uh, frankly speaking, more like this is the using government fund, and the, uh, I did, uh, produced with company uh, like this HMR product. Uh, one thing is the, this is the, um, I don't know the all uh, country and international also product like this product, but uh, this is the, if a pool, if a pool, the hot water, uh, 
이즐리 캔 이즐리 더 어, 피쉬캣 소프 디스 프로덕트 엔터드 더 아마존 인 USA Like this and the, like this the investment is a very useful to uh, promote the uh, develop of the, the small size of the uh, fishery company. Thank you. Very interesting. Um, I have a question myself. Yes. Sir. And I asked the question to you. All right. My question is um, I'm the Falca equipment. Yes, Falca. Yes. Sir. It's very interesting. Yeah, Falca is very interesting. But I know some uh, wild, like salmon or uh, some wild fish, they have worm in it. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Falca is wild. very interesting. And, yeah? yeah, but uh, if you if they applied it for the wild wild fish like salmon, salmon uh, has yes. salmon has some worm in in it sometimes. Uh, yes, correct. So, can uh, you know, Falca detect the, the worm? Uh, Can this equipment detect the worm? A worm? Uh, yeah. Uh, frankly speaking, uh, the uh, mic, talking about the speaker is not good, so the, the I cannot understand the, your the final question. Uh, salmon, oh, okay. worm? Yeah, well, some, some wild fish, like uh -huh. salmon, uh, salmon. It has worm in it. Yeah, it has some worm. Worm, like the small animals. Ah, I, I, I heard a uh, worm. Yes, yes. Uh, I understood you. Okay. Question. Okay. Mm. Okay. Can Falca uh, detect the worm in the uh, fish? Uh, frankly speaking, the uh, salmon is, uh, do you know the marine harvest in Norway? Yes. The company is the managed the worm. Uh, Frankly speaking, I'm not major that area. So I heard the, uh, my the colleague, uh, professor, uh, marine harvest managed the worm problem in salmon and uh, they harvest and then uh, um, uh, three years ago, I have been visited the uh, marine harvest in Belgium. So uh, they uh, also the possibility of like this. They automatically cutting and package them. Then, but uh, before uh, during harvesting uh, place, uh, they will manage. Uh, they will manage the uh, worm problem, and then the uh, safety one, only safety one is the uh, harvest and the supplied like this company. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm. I'm uh, 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 about, I'm specialist in the dead area. <laughs> All right. I'm just curious. Thank you so much. We Thank still you. have like three questions now in the chat box. Uh -huh. um, this is from uh, Lina Nasi. Uh, she asks about with the HPP technology, what yes, happened yes. to the nutrition and content of the product? Yes. Are there any side effects of them? Mm -hmm. or make it damage as well as the micro the microba yes. or any mutation occur on the nutrition for mm -hmm. example the modified structure molecular can cause cancer is there yes. any studies about it already so he i think she concerned about the how healthy it is uh but uh frankly speaking i used it uh, several times for this hpp system uh uh to uh Adapted to the Surimi. Do you know Surimi? A good like, fish paste yes. product. Uh, so the company wanted to uh, kill the microorganism to extent of the shelf life. But uh, quality is maintained is very difficult. So the what uh, pressure, what time is best uh, uh, best and the optimized condition to kill. I'm sorry, I lost the connection. I cannot uh, hear you. Is it my, my connection? Yes. Uh, 
Okay, now okay. we can hear you. Ah, again, I'm sorry. Oh. Yes. Oh. So it's not only me then. <laughs> yes. Okay, please. We lost the connection. Can you repeat uh, the last part? Okay, I see. Uh, uh, pre uh, the, uh, frankly speaking, three years ago, I uh, won research project with the uh, Samjin Omuk. It's a very famous uh, company. Uh, they product, produce and sell the uh, Surimi based product. Uh, they have uh, one question. Uh, I want to, they want to apply the HPP, the Surimi product, uh, but uh, to hire the pressure uh, will destroy the quality of the uh, final product. So uh, I suggest to uh, find the optimal condition uh, to uh, killing the microorganism. However, but however, the uh, minimal uh, decrease the texture or the taste. So uh, several uh, conditions the tried and the maybe the one, uh, for example, more 300 megapascal is the one minute, two minutes, three minutes, five minutes like this, and then 400 megapascal, one minute like this, the, uh, several repeated the experiment, and then we can find the suitable one. And so, and then applied this the streaming product. Uh, as you know, the HPP is a very common technology in Europe. Uh, they mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> technology applied the livestock uh, product. And so, the, in Korea, it's, uh, nowadays, we start the uh, applied the food product. So, the one by one, maybe in Korea, I heard uh, three or five companies uh, have the like this the HPP. So the at first in Korea, uh, not uh, the fish or the uh, livestock product, uh, juice at first is applied. And this is the uh, very famous in Korea. At first, uh, this mm. juice is applied to HPP. Uh, the, uh, this product is double price uh, compared to other ordinary the product. Uh, they uh, never heat treatment and the never food additive, uh, so it's, uh, taste is very nice and color is also very good. So and, uh, there is the uh, best-selling uh, product in Korea. Uh, so in Korea, it's, uh, <coughs> drinking is very important to food. So coffee and juice and post addicted to new technology and then spread it to the other uh, food area. Okay, um, so this is a follow-up question. So this HPP technology is best applied on the raw food or processed food? Uh, processed food. If uh, this, uh, uh, raw food is also adapted, but uh, range is very narrow. So uh, as you know, high uh, HPP uh, alter the protein the configuration. So uh, to maintain the uh, low pH con uh, condition, the pressure is the uh, lower, or well, maybe uh, below uh, 300 or 300 megapascal, and during short time it's possible, but uh, above the 300, in my thinking, 300 megapascal uh, will be destroyed the, the uh, protein configuration. So the uh, turn to the color, it's more uh, transparent with it's turn to the white one. So it's the uh, optimal condition finding is very important to apply the fresh fish. All right. Do you understand? Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Uh. And we still have more questions. Uh, yes. You may take a break if you want to. A pardon? You, you may take a break if you want to maybe take some drink. You have been talking for like one hour. Oh, OK, oh, sure. Uh. Okay, no problem. Uh. Okay, um, the next question is from uh, Professor Slamet Budi Prayutno. Mm -hmm. uh, see, he said it is a very nice lecture. Mm -hmm. The SPP technology has significantly reduced the microorganism content, improved quality and appearance. His question is how long the SPP fish product could be stored mm -hmm. without any taste and appearance changes? 
How long can it be? <laughs> Maybe uh, in Korea, in the, uh, the processed product is uh, uh, usual uh, shelf life is two years or, and, uh, or the mm. or, but uh, depending on the uh, food resource and the how to cook and how to uh, like what is added to uh, food additive it will be uh, altered the shelf life and by treating the HPP. So uh, uh, we can find the HPP uh, like one review paper, uh, several many review papers already published on the, the uh, seafood processing and one book already I bought one thing. One. So and the, depending on uh, fish species and the uh, raw material condition and the how to cook, it will be uh, different the shelf life of the HPP treated the food product. In my thinking like this. Okay. We have the next question. Uh -huh. This is about the price. How much it will cost for the equipment? <laughs> Can it apply to a small or medium enterprise? Uh, maybe uh, uh, in the world, the Europe is the uh, most uh, good quality of the HPP you know, supply. But I, uh, one month ago, I heard the one Chinese uh, company, the uh, 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 they also the, uh, can supply the uh, low price of the HPP. So, well, I did not check the well, in this in this time, but uh, after heard the your question, and then I will I wanted to check one more the Chinese product. Okay, I think uh, that was uh, last question from the chat box. Mm -hmm. um, I will for the participants who want to ask question directly. Mm -hmm. You may raise your hands. So maybe, but I don't see anybody who raised their hands now. Any question from the floor? Uh -huh. Bapak Ibu, ada yang ingin ditanyakan? Para peserta, silakan bisa bertanya langsung dalam bahasa Indonesia. Purina, I yeah. have a question on the chat box. Yes. You do? Okay, let me check. In the chat box. Let me check my check box. The last one. I asked you, you didn't answer. I'm sorry, maybe I miss it. Uh, maybe you can ask directly to Professor uh, Jason. Professor Winar uh, Tree, maybe you can ask directly. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, it was thank very you. impressive. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was very impressive uh, presentation and video. Thank you very okay. much, uh, Prof. Joy. Yeah. And uh, because my background is on the fisheries processing technology, yes. concern on the question uh, related to the HPP, HPP mm. and mm. electromagnetic freezing technology that maybe mm. have been applied uh, in Korea at the moment. Mm. Mm. And uh, the question that I wonder is uh, related to the uh, efficiency of uh, applying this technology to the process uh, fisheries product. Uh, comparing to the deep freezing that uh, has been uh, applied to, especially for tuna, uh, mm -hmm. because deep freezing at the minus 50 degrees C, even mm -hmm. below, Mm -hmm. even lower that, uh, uh, than that uh, temperature. Mm -hmm. uh, so it believed that it can uh, produce the something like a, a grassy state on the product. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. by uh, producing the grassy state, uh, meaning that uh, no changing, mm -hmm. even enzymatic, uh, pro, uh, enzymatic uh, process in the product. So it can be implied to the product that uh, has a very, very longer uh, stabilized for a long time. So I think uh, I want to have uh, uh, your uh, view on this kind of uh, technology. Mm -hmm. uh, even everything uh, I think need to uh, <clears throat> very high uh, costs that oh, can be yes, implemented. Yes, yes. Even, oh. yes, 
even in low temperature, uh, like uh, 50 degrees C or lower, uh, we need a big uh, investment uh, for applying it. So uh, according to your opinions, mm -hmm. uh, technology that can be more efficient to be applied, especially for tuna, fresh tuna, mm -hmm. uh, to preserve the uh, product. Mm. Uh, as you know, the tuna is uh, in Japan is very expensive. As a lot of tuna, they want to the sushi, and so the in this technique, the mm. uh, should be uh, uh, easily added to the high price the uh, raw fish, more tuna and salmon is possible, but uh, cheaper fish is very difficult to apply to this technique. Uh, as you know, the uh, this uh, machine is not cheap, uh, but in Japan, uh, already uh, spread it in this technology in the market. Uh, they uh, wanted to buy, uh, provide the more money to the high quality of the frozen fish. So uh, Japan is more already the matured the uh, this area, and the, uh, for example, I heard about ten percent and all the uh, maybe 20% uh, price higher than the, the uh, normal freezing, um, but uh, they choose the uh, electromagnetic uh, treated one is to choose in the market. So in Korea also nowadays, uh, several companies the, uh, tried to product this uh, electromagnetic uh, treated uh, the frozen PC. So. Uh, in Korea also not usual, but the high price PC, the uh, talk about expensive PC product is we can uh, easily adapt to this technique. Uh, can you? <laughs> okay. So do you think that HPP and uh, electromagnetic tracing technology has uh, been commercially applied in uh, Korea or maybe in uh, Japan at the moment? <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, yes, correct. Uh, uh, Korea is uh, the more juice coffee is already HP, uh, MR product is adapted to the high, uh, high HPP technique. So it's the, uh, nowadays it will be changed the trend in Korea. It will be uh, uh, Korean person, more, as you know, the many person want to the chemical additive food. Uh, don't, want, don't take it too. Uh, don't take the, the, the more food additive or the chemical is the one uh, treat the much input the food. So uh, fresh, more nature, and the more no harm uh, chemical additive is they want to. So and the, uh, in my thinking, the HP uh, treated product will be the uh, predominant in the market in Korea in the future. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Thank you very much. It's very okay. interesting. Yes. So, if you have any mm -hmm. other question, okay. please send it to me. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Great. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, thank you, Professor Tri, and thank you, Professor uh, Jesuk. I think, um, Doctor Diki, do still we have uh, more question from the floor in the chat box that I miss? Well, I think we have no other, uh, Dr. <laughs> okay. yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Uh, uh, so please, uh, I have mm -hmm. a one suggest suggestion. Uh, frankly speaking, uh, I uh, I am working with the 12 researchers. Uh, two of them are Indonesian. Uh, one is the postdoctoral researcher. It's one is the doctoral student. Uh, if possible, may I introduce these two person? Certainly. Sure. Uh, uh, please, Gabriel. Gabriel. Is he online? <laughs> Gabriel Berto. Ah, <laughs> why not? <laughs> mm, okay, they very shy. <laughs> okay. I'll let him uh, tell to him. Uh, but, uh, uh, hello, okay. everyone. Sorry, the mic oh. micro my microphone was mute. Uh -huh. Okay, hi. Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Gabriel. Good morning. 
Uh, thank you, Professor Choi, for introducing me and my colleague, Berto. Uh, I've been joined this research center in under the Professor Choi uh, sub supervision uh, since two years ago. And currently, uh, I'm doing work on seafood processing and then tissue culture, bioactivity assay, and compound purification. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I thank you. I think uh, the, the work that you do and uh, the presentation from uh, Professor Jesuk is very interesting and very enlightening to us. Um, good luck on your, on your work. Thank you. And um, you're welcome. I, is there any question from the floor? Is there any more question from the floor? Bapak Ibu, silakan kalau ada yang ingin ditanyakan, kita masih punya Uh, waktu beberapa menit mungkin ada bisa dimanfaatkan. Ada satu lagi kliennya tadi mau diperkenalkan oleh Dr. C, Prof. C, Bertoka. Yes. Oh, yes. You, uh, thank you. Yes. Oke. Okay. <laughs> thank you for the time. Thank you, Professor. Oke, okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Oke, okay, Bertoka. Thank you, uh, uh, Professor, uh, moderator. <laughs> Uh, first of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Bertoka Fajar from Indonesia. Now I'm student, PhD student in Sila University on a seafood biotechnology on sorry, uh, food biotechnology department, and I joined this uh, seafood research center on November last year. And now I've been focused research on antioxidant peptide from features by product and also synergetic antibacteria and antioxidant from marine. Thank you wow. very much. Have a nice day. <laughs> I'm very proud of these two person. Uh, they very thoughtful researcher, and uh, always hardworking and very intelligent and smart. Um, thank you for two person. Mm. Thank you. For and we are very proud of them too. Uh, Um, uh, I think, yeah. mm. would you like to say something more? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> no, if you don't have any questions, no, it is, so I will finish my presentation. How about this? Can I finish this? Sure. Uh, sure? Okay. Yes, please. Uh, uh, thank you for your attention and uh, uh, thank you for Dean and Dr. Uh, Uh, respected professor also and the uh, uh, Tiki Hawato. Uh, he will join the next month <laughs> in our lab. Uh, anyway, the welcome and Tiki Hawato. And the, uh, this video, uh, you can, uh, I present the, uh, all the video I present today are all available on the YouTube. Uh, okay, you can find the keyword input on YouTube and then you can uh, find easily. Uh, if you want to uh, one more time, want to see the one more time, the please uh, find the YouTube. Okay, uh, uh, one more time. I thanks to your attention and I wish you all the best. Uh, terima kasih banyak. Terima kasih kembali. Terima kasih banyak. Uh, bye. Terima kasih. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you very much, uh, yeah. Professor Jason. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you. It was a very enlightening uh, presentation to us, yeah. and it uh, give insight uh, into um, the processing something beyond uh, aquaculture production. Yeah. So it's I think it's really uh, interesting, and it is uh, broadening our horizon about the fish processing technology. What can we do, and what can, what is available out there? to give the added value to aquaculture product. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you very and, much. Uh, we wish you all the best as well. <laughs> and uh, I hope one day you will be able to visit us in oh, Indonesia. Okay, okay, sure, thank you. Oh. Okay, bye. I think... Um, oh, okay, oh, I'm sorry. Bye-bye, yeah. <laughs> and I think this concludes our session for much. today. And we are very welcome you to Uh, okay, uh, thank you very much. Uh, have a nice day. Uh, you too.
And this concludes our session for today. I will give the floor back. Uh, I, I, will, I will give the floor back to uh, Dr. Harwanto. Okay. Assalamualaikum yeah. warahmatullahi Assalamualaikum. wabarakatuh. Ya, Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi Thank you very much. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Sukses. Sukses selamat. Much, Professor C and Dr. Desrino. Truly a very enlightening and insightful presentation and discussion. Motor Thank dulu you. Pagi. Motor dulu ini 99. Oh. Ah, Oke. Okay. Well, seorang puncaknya Anji. Sure. Oke. Okay. So, uh, Yeah, it's it will be better if we take uh, another picture because uh, before there are some audience not come here. Okay, please, uh, Mas Hendrik, you may prepare for taking. Profesornya dari J. Oh, Professor C, are you still there? Oh, it's already off. Okay, um, Mas Hendrik, please take picture for us. Oke, Pak. Oke, eh Please turn on the camera for all audience. Oke, okay, on the first page, I take the picture. One, two, three, kills. Oke. Okay. Um Once again, and one, uh, uh, wait, wait. Yeah, once again, one, two, three, cheers. Yeah, okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, uh, Mas Hendrik. Well, thank you for the audience's uh, participation. Yeah. So the discussion becomes more interesting, attractive, and able to improve uh, our knowledge. Ladies and gentlemen, now we are at the end of the event. I hope you have found this morning's presentation informative and useful. Thank you for spending time with us today. Hopefully, we can meet again in the next seminar that will be held by our department or our faculty. Have a good day and stay healthy. Ya, terima kasih. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Thank you. 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 Thank you.